Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, it's Andy here from Peninsula Painting. Now today we're going to do a double headed painting tutorial right now. We're going to test out this Amu Mig gold paint. Um, and we're also going to be painting Custodies. Now the first thing I've noticed when using this paint is basically when I shake the, the, um, the dropper bottle up, I can hear a ball bearing. So this acts as an agitator, and as we know, with acrylic paint, the paint pigments and the medium separate when it's standing for too long, which obviously once you try and use, use the paint, it's mostly the medium that comes out, which people then think it's a poor product. So that's a really good little thing that they've added in there. The next thing I've noticed is that the paint is really, really thin, now maybe this could be because I've not mixed it well enough, but it could just be the characteristics of the paint itself. Either way, we'll find out how good it is. Now, a lot of you are probably thinking, why has he used black, a black primer here? Now the reason why I've done that, guys, is I want to put this paint through the ringer. I want to put it through its test, and let's see how good it is at the end of the video. So I'm just putting the first layer on now, and I think I'm going to have to do two thin coats of this. So the first paint we're using on this is the old brass. So this is going to act as a base colour, which will help us build up the brass colour, which is the second paint we've got in the set. It will help us build that secondary colour, which will give us a nice vibrant gold. So after two coats of the old brass, it's looking a lot more nicer. That original colour, the first, the primary colour is starting to pop out now. And then we're going to do the first coat of the brass colour, which is the second paint that we got in the set. I've decided to use my larger brush this time. <laughs> um, because using the smaller one wasn't really a good idea. So we're gonna give the paint a good shake, put it in the palette. So the brushing technique that I've adopted here, guys, is an overbrush. It's essentially a wet dry brush, if that makes sense. What you do is you, you have enough paint on the brush and you basically brush over the, the detailed areas and basically what happens is the old brass, which is the primary colour, will stay within the detailed recessed areas. And as you can see there guys, I've just put a little bit on the base to show that there still is a lot of paint on, on the paintbrush. It doesn't look like it doesn't look like there's much on the paintbrush at all. But it just goes to show how how much pigment is in a little drop of this paint. Something that I need to mention guys, this Ammo Mig paint requires approximately 12 to 24 hours depending on how humid your room is. Now fortunately for me, my house is very humid, I've, all, I've had all the installation done in the house so in my study room, my painting shack shall we say, is really nice and warm. So literally this is two coats of the brass colour. And now we're going to go in for the wash. We're going to use the Franklin Flesh Shade from uh, Games Workshop. We're going to do a nice thick coat of wash on this. Obviously not to um, obscure any detail.
So now we're going to create a one-to-one -one highlight colour using the Army Painter Shining Silver and the Ammo Mig Brass. So obviously this is basically the, the, the gold, a little bit lighter because due to the silver. And we're going to lightly dry brush this over all the raised details. And this will give the effect that light is shining down upon the miniature. So guys, I'm really, really digging this um, this little paint set. This is a combination of the old brass and, and the brass. Now, I will be using these paints in the future for my Custodes army. I'm not going to use it for my um, Stormcast Eternals, because, let's face it, we can use other golds for them. Also guys, stay tuned for part two. We're going to paint the rest of the model, such as his Guardian Spear, and his plume and the rest of the stuff. If you like this video, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment, and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Draw.